Guys, this disaster needs to be tidied up today. This is my craft space, <laughs> AKA it used to be a bedroom and it is a disaster area. Look at it. So this is what I'm working on today and hopefully it will be done lickety split. And we're back. Like I said, lickety split. It's not perfect, but it's much better. So we'll walk in. There's my advent calendar I made that I need to save for Christmas. Um, this box is mostly Dollar Tree, some other materials for fall and um, Thanksgiving, Halloween crafting projects. So I leave that there. I have a dresser that's full of fabrics and craft stuff. My printer. That is all Christmas. Ugh. Presents that I've purchased or made that I need to get wrapped. But obviously it's not anywhere near Christmas time. So that just will be there until the end of time. The basket on top is some fabric uh, that I'm working on now. And the bottom basket is glassware. Again, for more crafting projects. So I really purged and got it down to that box over here and these two items that need to be done. That is a calendar for my desk for 2020. So that'll stay where it's at. We have a big window. I leave it open for the light and for the cats. They love laying on it and looking out the window. This is where I do my videoing and some videos. I'm getting ready to finish a vlog I was working on today. This is my Ikea uh, Michaels cart. Um, the bottom is like tape and twines and stuff. There's more tape, or there's tool stuff down here, and glue, like adhesives in the middle, paintbrushes, all things on the top. I love this cart. It doesn't look great, but it is so nice to have everything I need handy to just grab it and go. And this is my Calyx from Ikea. It's a five by five. And each of the cubes represents um, different crafty projects. I've got some yarn for knitting, paint for painting, paper for crafting. And then the bottom ones in the boxes is mostly all knitting stuff, bags and things. Back there is my sink area. Over on this side is a storage closet, or a bedroom closet, really. And over here is a bathroom that I keep the kitty litter in. And then my sink area, <laughs> that's a hot mess. That is the next project, that dresser, and everything on top needs to be gone through and purged. But for now, uh, wall decals from the Dollar Tree. And on the ground there, and those two baskets are all of my Cricut vinyl and iron-ons. Over here on this wall, um, I'm in the credenza. Down here is paper, craft paper books, and then that one is vinyl. In here I have some notepads and Easter stuff, a scroll, some books, the white containers. The top one is knitting stuff, the middle one is knitting stuff, and the bottom one is all my plugs. Here's my sewing kit and just some materials. And then up here's my sewing machine and my Cricut. It's a Singer Curve. I need to get a cover made for my Cricut. And then that middle container is just some storage things. And up on the wall, this is from Michaels, but I got it at a yard sale and it just holds ribbons and bells and beads and all kinds of stuff. My bulletin board over there a black cat from last year's Halloween. And that's my mama's high school graduation picture. And that is it. This is, oh, I didn't show you one thing. Down here is a trash can that I got at the Target dollar spot, but it has like paper rolls and things for crafting. And then that little tub behind the fan has um, paint canvases and picture frames and stuff for crafting. Cause this, oh. And there's my laundry that needs to be done. I'm working on it right now as we speak. And a black cat. Wellington. So this is my craft space where most of the creativeness falls. And I thought I would take you on a quick tour. And I hope everybody enjoyed. And I will talk to you later. Bye.